So, I hope you guys like the intro. I'm here with my friend again, uh, Daniel. Yes. He showed me this place and he's, he said to me, dude, we, we we're gonna need, check it out. We're gonna check it out. So, here we are. What was it used for? We built a airstrip just for military purpose. And well, almost immediately it got bombed away by the Germans. They took it over. And to defend their own airstrip, they built these bunkers. So these are German made. Yeah. And we're gonna check them out. German made bunkers. And we got the whole area for ourselves because it is private property. Exactly. And we got permission to film here. Yes, they were very nice to us. And thankfully, well, they just, they couldn't open the lock anymore. But we're allowed to go in, so here we are. It's a perfect day <laughs> to explore some bunkers. Wow. <laughs> so what do you reckon? Which one you want to take first? Yeah, okay, let's, let's just start with the first one. So always fun to climb on bunkers and stuff like that. You can see the really, really old stairs here. I'm going to climb up the bunker and Maybe I will find something cool or have a nice view or something. I hope it doesn't break. I think it's time for some B-roll footage right now. I think so. Yeah! Inside this bunker we found some, some water, we found little frogs inside this bunker, so there is something living inside the World War II bunkers, <laughs> which is pretty amazing. It is so weird to stand between pure history. Yes, and definitely one that's so well preserved as it's here. Yeah, it is just completely empty and uh, it, 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 it's not been uh, recovered or or being demolished and rebuilt. It is so pure and every entrance is open. Yeah. Or it's blocked uh, because, because of, of rubble. Yeah, because yeah. of an explosion or something. So we just found this uh, ladder and I want to climb up on the bunker with Daniel because we want to see what's on the top of the bunker. We think it was anti-air, but we want to see it for ourselves. I'm not sure if this is gonna hold me. Like I said before, is this gonna be documentary or comedy style? Mm, did not hold you. So, you won't believe what I just found. What did you find? Show me. Damn. <laughs> yes. And with also the two pins, really iconic. You know what that means, right? We were right. This is on the air. Yeah, it was. First we're going to explore this one and then we are going to that one over there because that one looks really different than all the all the other bunkers. You ready? Of course. Oh, yeah. It feels a little bit unreal, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's all set up. That it that it's just this is a remake or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It doesn't feel that it's really from the from the war, but <laughs> but it is. But it is. All in still good condition. And here we have the remains of the door that was once here. It's amazing how this is standing for all these years. Unbelievable. I want to do something 
for the last time and let us climb up the bunker before we are going to enter that one up there. So you got an entry point or? No, not sure, I need to have a look, but we will put the camera on as soon as we are on the top of the bunker. See you on the top. Amazing view. Really is. So it is time for the last bunker. Yeah, we saved this one for last because it was the odd one out. And we think this was the mess hall. Yeah. Or the kitchen, something like that. So let's check it out. We just walked in this bunker and we discovered some some really nice things and nice views. We filmed a little bit inside, uh, but I noticed something was sticking out of the ground and I took it and it was a shoe. Now, as far as my knowledge goes, I didn't know for sure if this was a German shoe or just something that was put here. And then I called my friend Nick from History Secrets, of course, and he said, Look at the look at the back of the um, shoe, and is it is it from metal? And I was like, yeah, it's it, it is it is from metal. And then he said, yeah, it is a German officer shoe. So when I go when I'm going home, I'm going to clean this and give this shoe to him because he loves to collect this, and I completely understand. And yeah. It's, I don't know what to say, it's an amazing find. It was just sticking out of the ground. That's amazing. <laughs> it really is. So, it's not much, but it's something. I found a original nail from the Second World War, from the Germans. There are a few of them here. And this is also the end of this video. If you like this video, give us a comment and a like. And if you want to see more videos about the Second War history and urbex, um, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video.